my name is Jason Judd. I'm the trail crew work leader for Whiskey Town National Recreation Area. I get to run an awful lot of equipment and heavy machinery, but since the car fire, my number one piece of equipment has definitely been the chainsaw. Today, I'm going to be running a steel MS661 Magnum with a 32 inch bar, working to take down this ponderosa tree here. This tree needs to come down because it's threatening critical infrastructure we have here at the Crystal Creek Water Ditch Trail. I'm going to make a series of cuts. The first two cuts will be what we call our face cut. That's going to aim the tree in the direction I want it to go. We're going to impact across the creek over on the hillside. I'll then make a series of cuts what we call our back cut. That's going to relieve the tension and allow the tree to fall over. So by using my wedge setter and hitting the tree where my holding wood is going to be, I'll be able to tell just how sound that wood is, make sure it's not rotten. That way my holding wood, that's what's going to keep the tree from twisting as on its way down. It'll hold it in place and help me have control of the tree as it goes down. So we'll take out a wedge of wood, we call that our face cut. That's going to aim the tree, send it in the direction we want it to go. I've got half my back cut in. I just set myself a safety wedge. I'm going to go ahead and continue on down out. I'll set one more wedge, and this tree is going to take off, head over the creek.
So here we are looking at the stump. This is what we call the stump shot. From here we can assess the quality of the cut. We can see here, this was my first cut. We call our gunning cut. That's how I aim the tree. Once those cuts were left, what remains here, we call our holding wood. You can see where this wood actually broke off. It didn't get cut. That is the wood that keeps us in control of the tree. Keeps it from rolling, keeps it from falling in the direction we want. That holding wood in conjunction with the two wedges I had set as safety wedges, those wedges are building pressure. They're actually lifting and separating that back cut along with the lean of the tree forces it in the direction the faller wants to take it. So while we're falling trees, it's very important to wear all your personal protective equipment, what we like to call PPE. I've got leather cut proof boots on. These extend up 10 inches. Next I'm wearing my chainsaw chaps. These are actually Kevlar reinforced. If I was to accidentally hit those chaps, that Kevlar binds up the chain and the sprocket and it stops that chain from spinning dead on. I also wear a reflective vest. I want to make sure everyone who's working around me knows where I am, just like I want to know where everybody else is. I keep a radio harness right here. That way I can talk to dispatch. If something does go wrong, if an accident happens, I have a direct line of communication to get emergency personnel coming to meet us here or at the trailhead. Gloves are very important. I'm wearing my ear protection, got my eye pro on, and always, always wear your hard hat. You gotta protect that noggin. So the main reason we're falling these trees intentionally, we don't want them to come down when the tree decides to come down. If we bring a faller in, we can directionally send these trees, make sure they don't fall into bathrooms, parking lots, or in this case, a historic water ditch trail that park crews have been working for years to try and rehab and maintain historically. It'd be a real bum deal to have a tree crush all of our hard work.